catchphrase, yes. Shibuku, thank you. Tickets, please. Yes, we will. I'm too late. Where's Uncle Matthew? He's upstairs lying down. He's not feeling too well. I'll get him. No. Je crois que c'est ça qui lui a aidé à accepter sa vie telle qu'elle était. Ça peut être dur quand même pour elle d'avoir vécu de cette manière-là. Oui, mais quand on est proche de quelqu'un qui fait un vie, on est plus bien.
better today, Uncle Matthew. You sleep okay? Mm. Your sister's coming. Estelle. Andy rung this round this morning. They phoned it down from New Kalal. She was able to get out. and meet her. Said the train only be a half hour late today. She must have a wind in her back. We all have to go someday, Isabel. Well, I guess now someone's going to have to take your mother's place. There's only you and Estelle left. You're a pretty girl, your sister. I can remember going to the post office every day just so I could see her. 18 when she left. 20. Is that a fact? I was 13. You must have been just a baby. Well, she left a week after I was born. So you never seen her? Not allowed. She was pretty. Geez, what a shame. Isabelle? Oui. Hello. Ce sera beau demain, les funérailles. Il ne sera pas enterré ici. Dans son testament, elle demande d'être enterrée près de papa et d'Arnold, dans le cimetière protestant. J'ai passé ma vie à prier pour leurs âmes. Cette nuit, je dormirai dans la chambre de mon frère. Right now, Estelle is downstairs, in the special parlor with mother's body. Maybe she could stay on and look after Uncle Matthew. Or maybe at her convent they look after old people. It's the kind of job nuns do sometimes. Why do we have to grow old anyway? Maybe it would be better to die young, like my brother Arnold. No, it's hard digging the ground was tough, and uh, we had to get down on the and um, we had to use a drill. No, we didn't use no drill, just the picks and the uh, and the axes. No, it's no good in the winter time. That's the last. My, the last grade one. She was a turbo fine. Turbo fine. She was French. I know, I know, but turbo fine. Pretty, too. Why, she was pretty when she was young. That garnet should never have got mixed up with her. No, boy. She made a terrible fine wife to poor Will. And after he drowned, she looked after his brother Matthew like There's he... a story there, too, if one knew the truth. Ah, the truth, woman, what truth? She was a terrible fine woman. She worked like a dog, and none of us liked That's the first open casket that's been in this house for years. Not too much to eat this time, though. You remember poor Cedric? His was close. Oh, they, they roasted a pig that night, I remember. That big saw sure did a pretty nasty job yeah. on him. Yeah, and that pork was delicious. Jacob, he had a special one. 
clothes, too. Why didn't we have uh, that night? Too big for a bought one. Poor little lad. A turkey, yeah. Young spring turkey. And it was the best. And it was Will and Arnold. Side by side, both clothes, too. They so butchered uh, Knox that night, I remember. They were lucky to find the bodies, weren't they? Three days later, washed upon the beach. Had to give most of that away. I took home the front shoulder and lived off the roast beef. And they were all laid out in that parlor, one after another. Poor souls. Man that is born of a woman hath but a short time to live, and is full of misery. He cometh up and is cut down like a flower. He fleeth as it were a shadow, and never continueth in one state. For as much as it hath pleased Almighty God of his great mercy to take unto himself the soul of our dear sister here departed, we therefore commit her body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, Remercions Dieu. Désormais, tu es là pour prendre soin de lui. Finish. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling, Uncle? Oh, I was out giving them horses their oats, and I came over dizzy again. Expected all them people yesterday. You fixed Arnold's room? Yes. Yesterday, after Estelle left, and Jacob's room. You leave Arnold's bed made up? No, of course not. Why? Well, your mother always left Arnold's bed made up, just in case. Well, I'm just not mother yet. You've grown into a fine woman, Isabel. Don't know what I'd do without you.
Get over, Prince. Come on. Prince. You want your oats or not? like this. Poor Will and your brother Arnold. I know. Let's not go over that again. Not just like this. Spring of the year. You write pretty often. Nice young fella. Uncle? Why is these spring storms? Uncle, what are we going to do about the animals? Your mother managed. I know, but I'm not mother, Uncle. I'm just not. Oh, go on, Belle. You're doing fine. No, I'm not. I am not. Why, them meals you cook for me, they're better than your mother cooked. Uncle, I only had two weeks off. I've got to go back to my job. And even if I were going to stay, you'd still have to sell. Well, just let's wait and see, Belle. Let's wait and see. I'll be right back. At the door? Huh. Could be out in this weather. Come and see what's in here. What is it? Your mother sings. What did you to have them? This was your father's. And this? Arnold.
took it off her when she died. Tommy? That sure is. Right. It's coming in now, though, I think. Well, she's ready, all sorted. Can I have my mail, please? Yeah, you haven't got any. No mail? Not a letter. It's a storm that's falling in up. Maybe you'll get one tomorrow. You know, if you don't write them, you won't get yeah, any. I suppose yet. not. Mike. You want to take the garnet mail, too? If you please. Could you put this up somewhere? Aha. It's about time Matthew got clear some of that stuff. That older than he looks, you know. Should have sold out two years ago when he had that heart attack. Thanks. That's what finished your mother looking after all that stuff. Yes, this is mine. I don't understand it. It should be a letter by now. <laughs> don't worry. I bet he still loves you. Did you put this up? Mr. Bonnie, do you remember Will's daughter, Isabel? Who? Oh. Will's daughter. You know Cedric's son, Will? Oh! Poor Cedric's granddaughter. Well, well, well. Mr. Bonnie was a great friend to your grandfather. Yeah, what's that? I said you was a great friend to poor Cedric. Oh, many's a time he'd be coming over our hill, all rigged out in that uniform. Hoopin' the Huns was coming. Used to frighten the life out of poor Millie. It's a terrible thing what war will do to a man, eh? What's that? Terrible thing what war will do to a man. Had this rig he always carried. Plowing, haymaking, no matter. Used to wear it over his face. Said it would stop poison gas. A gas mask? What'd she say? She said a gas mask. Yeah, always carried it. Why, is you're a fine-looking girl. What a way to go, hey. Tried to defend the mill once too often. Don't let the Huns get the mill. Poor Cedric. 1927. Yes? I was just wondering where you was. Oh. But it's nearly supper time, Uncle. Come, I'll make you a nice cheese omelet. That's the best, eh? Uncle, how did Grandpa die? What? Yes, how exactly did he die? It was an accident. An accident down at the mill. Well, I can't remember exactly. Around about the time your mother was carrying Estelle. Well, then, how come he wasn't buried in the church? It was church in his yard? will. That's the reason they give. It was in his will to be buried on the place. No question of taking his own life. No question at all. Poor father. What the war does to a man, eh?
Hi, hi. What are you doing up so early? Well, I just saw you from the house out fishing. So I yeah, thought I'd... My first day out. Look at there. Boy. Lovely. I thought I'd surprise Uncle Matthew with a couple of nice fresh herrings. Can sure. I have some? Sure. You got anything to put them in? Just a minute. Oh, you're Ed in the post office. Uh, any takes? Anyone in? No. Nope. Interested? Nobody came yet. Well, if you had to wait a little bit or out on the grass, you could sell them quicker. Well, we cannot afford to wait. Well, that's too bad. Ten cents. Yeah. Who's that? Well, that's, uh, that's Jason. That's the guy that bought Howard Bolt. Well, who's he? I've never seen him around. No, he's a stranger. Where did so, he come from? Oh, he comes from the third there. He was away. And, uh, he's throwing his money around like, uh, lots of money. Lots of money. Really? Yeah. Well, say, I hope you sell your cat. Sell these cows soon, Uncle. Uh. Hmm? I uh, hear you're selling your stock. Yes. How old are they? We're not selling that one. But the others, they're about. Uh, I don't know, but they're quite young. Quite young. Get over there, son. Get over there. Yeah. Well, he looks in pretty good shape. The old sow has a kind of limp, Isabel. You selling some animals? What are they going at? Reasonable. T Terrible reasonable. Them cows now are 150 apiece. Well, I'll show you the pigs if you want, if you're interested. Why is he gave me a terrible shop when I saw you? It's split an image of someone like you. more kindling in the morning, Uncle. I'll fix it first thing. You know, you're looking more like your mother every day. It's getting late. Well, the, uh, the animals are sold. Yes. Of course, I can't complain. I paid a terrible high price. Mind you, I never let on no one else came. He wants to rent some land, too. How do you suppose? Of course, I don't know the fellow, so I said no. Well, good. Well, good night. Good night. Uncle. Sleep well.
Now fast with the crimson running into the sea. Just have you every year and the spring's gone. Come on. Losing your fence. I've never seen you before. Haven't you? It's mine, land, boys. Well cleared of stones. My father and his father before him. What a job they must have had, eh? I got alfalfa in the lower field. Up here, it's in oats. Another. 75 acres back there. Isabel will walk you over if you like. She's well looked after. Fine pastures down in the hollow, too. Used to keep pigs there. This side of the mill. Poor little Jacob. Jacob? The brother. Old Cedric's wild boar got him. Tore to pieces. <laughs> train. I thought you were staying here to look after your uncle. I can't. Why not? Why not? Well, I've got a job. We need the money. From out there, you can get a good view of the farm. Not a nice trout in that brook. You know the farm? You ever got trout fishing? Jason, where do you come from? Back there. Say, come on, Turbo Sergeant. Seen her coming up this afternoon, but I thought I would pass over. Yeah. Well, so you got your letter at last, eh? Yeah. What time do you think you'll be leaving? Sunday. So soon? Yeah, I have to. I only got two weeks, you know. But I'll send money home. And uh, well, now that the farm is rented, I'm, I'm sure we can find someone to, to do the cooking. Uh-huh. Well, at least you're not putting them in a hole. Most young folks nowadays, as soon as someone gets old, just pack them off. Father will nurse my father for four years, then set up the body for three nights. No, sir, he never went in a hole. Just the homes are expensive. No, not anymore. Young Billy Wilson put his mother in a home. Never cost him a thing. He's got the doctor to say she was sick or something. All that there insurance, old age pensions. Government pays for everything these days. Easy as pie. Too easy, I say. I gotta stop you in here a second. Couldn't be but a minute. All
Jack Dawes doing the turbo pile of misses that new mill of his. Well, they never had enough water to run that old one over in the hollow anyway. Oh, by the way, tell your uncle I'm going to Calmonton next week with a load of pigs. Welcome to come with me again for more of those heart tests of his, rather than going by train all on his own. stayed late to type things, too. I need to hear from you so much, Louise. But your letter sounds so distant. Why haven't you written before? Oh, and about the rent, don't worry. I'll pay half like always. I miss you so, Louise. best. I can't leave and I can't stay. I'm so afraid. Strange. In the sun it all looks so nice. But most of the time, most of the time it seems like the place is... Oh, your mother used to love reading them letters. At first there. She must be a fine girl too, that, uh, that Louise. I never used to think about such things. Streetcars and the like. Well, I better have a look at them young pigs. Jason gave them a shot or something. Did them no good at all. There's some marvelous homes for people where they look after. The only way I leave is feet first, out of the parlor, in a box. for Robin Jones now. Oh. Yeah, Herb's got himself a job. Sir, it's my truck parked outside. Well, yeah. <coughs> Ain't you sorry you never married me now, eh? Hmm. Uh, could I have some molasses, please? How much would you like? A gallon. And uh, may I use your phone? Surely, surely. It's in the back. You have a telephone book? I have one somewhere if I can find it. I hear you rented your place? Yes. His name is Jason. Do you know him? No, never heard tell of him. Well, he's, he's just bought Harvey's boat from back on the third. Never set eyes on him. They send me uh, one of these every year. I don't never know which one it is. <laughs> Thanks. I'll get your molasses ready. Okay. Who are you phoning, Isabel? Your boyfriend down in Montreal? He's terrible rich, they say. I'm phoning about electricity. Electricity? Electricity going in the old Garnett home? 249W, please. Why, well, that'll be an end of the old phantom light. Yeah, couldn't do no wandering with electric, now could it? Some people will just believe anything. 
Well, lots of people seen it, Isabel. Always around dawn, too. You seen it, eh, Secord? Oh, that was a long time ago. Well, Billy Wilson seen it two years yes. ago again. I'm Night of the big wind. For our house and barn. The gun Downstairs by the west window, in the parlor, eh, Secord? Oh, thank you. Well, the night I seen it, it seemed to be moving from window to window, as if it was searching for something. Yes. You say it's a crazy one, the one that got caught by the pigs. Oh, poor little Jacob. Yeah, I am, looking for rest. For quite a month. Others think it's Will and Arnold, because Thanks. it is always seen in the spring of the year. No, no, maybe it was the old man himself, old Cedric, hunting for all the Germans that he didn't get. Uh, <laughs> hey, come on now, boys. Well, enough of that kind of talk. We don't want to scare Isabel. <laughs> Why not? Maybe some night she'll come running up home in her pajamas, eh, Isabel? Boys, I'll give you a terrible welcome. <laughs> you wouldn't know what to do with me, even if I did come. You're not down in the big city down here, you know. Well, did you get your electric company? Yes, thanks. But apparently it takes a month, so, you know. How much do I owe you? A dollar and a half, please. Uh, would you like me to charge that on your Uncle Matthew's account? Yes, thanks. Bye. 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 Hey, Isabel, maybe we'll go to the pictures one night, eh? My pigs. There you go. I've just phoned about electricity. Oh? Mm -hmm. For the house and the barn. Settling in then. Oh, it doesn't mean I'm staying. Oh. No. You get more time off your job? No, I'm leaving my job. But I'll get another one. It's not taking quite a chance going off to Montreal on your own like that. No, because I, I'm sharing a girlfriend's apartment. You don't think Mother would let me stay there on my own? Well, I don't imagine your mother's got too much to say in it anymore. And she was pretty strict, I hear. Too strict, some say. Oh, I guess in Montreal you was free of all that. Hmm. Well, I'm... I'm going off to make supper. Would you like some? Oh, uh, not right now, thanks. Okay. Looking all over, and I can't find no one. No, no one wants to work these days. You know, aren't way down from Robin Jones yesterday? We got a 14 empty farms. 14, mind you. They're all even, except the lazy ones. They'll stay and collect off the government. The best ones go. No, but Viola, there must be some women who'd be willing to give us even a couple of hours a day. Arnold was starting on the guitar the year he died. He was to have a good on the mouth organ, too. You remember Eb? Many's the time we'd sit out here, Will, your mother, and Estelle. She'd a fine voice before she went to the convent. Boys, the songs we'd sing. Always the first warm day of spring. Just like tonight. Oh, there's no miss like a new one. Boys, I miss her terrible.
Brave voices calling me Across a dark sky Soft as a memory As warm as a sigh Your name is a whisper On the wind She stood it, especially when she first came. She must have had a handful with old Cedric, too. And she had that Jacob to worry about. I don't want to. Well, he was a real menace. Oh, poor little fellow. She had a body too big for his brains, that's what I reckon. Cedric being through the Great War, it wasn't too well when he had him. Well, one day, when I was about four, I was coming over for some butter. Your mother made real fine butter. Oh, Viola, don't go tell that again, eh? No, go on, Viola. I haven't heard that. Well, I was coming around the end of the barn, and there was Jacob. He'd be about 14 at the time, and huge. He had hold of this here chicken. he just wrung its neck. And like an animal, he was chewing away at its head. Now, hold on, Viola. Look, this story gets worse every time she tells it. Oh, my word. He was always after them chickens. Be anything she says. Well, why do you think he was torn to pieces back in the pig pasture? You ever hear of a herd of pigs killing anyone? Jason, why don't you sing that song again? You know, the one you sang at first there. Well, that one's the best. Wandering Highway Leading me on and on. How many Isabel, miles why don't you go down the cellar and get us some of that apple cider your mother put away last fall? Right. Maybe tomorrow I'll find my destiny. Maybe the dark will find me wandering. Was it a nice service? Don't know why I came. It's the first time in two years. I wish Mommy would be okay. Maybe it's best she's gone. Live to see the day when the Garnets wouldn't farm their own land. Poor Papa would turn in his grave if he knew. Here. This is where I'll be put down. Right next to your mother. Always together. I'll. Have that put on the stone. Oh, it'll happen soon, I have a feeling. And here, this space is for you. I've got a board already. We'll all be down there together one day.
got to get away with. I never thought I'd feel this way, but there are too many things. I've tried everything, but nothing works. I walked all day yesterday on the beach, but nothing comes out. I only hope tonight at the post office there'll be a letter from you. Hello. Could you post this for me? Any mail? Yes. Hi, Isabel. Hello. How's your uncle Matthew? Thank you. Fine. That's good. Any mail for me? Thank you. Any mail for me? I think that's uh, from McKenzie. Doing anything? How about a drink? I'd you like the company truck? Pretty neat, eh? Mm, it's fine. <coughs> yeah. Uh, bad news in, uh, in that letter, huh? I just can't trust anyone. Never. Not anyone. <coughs> I guess. Uh, a drink will fix you up in no time. Eh? Well, look, maybe she let you sleep on a sofa for a couple nights. But I'll never go back there, Harold. Never. I just wonder what that Therese is like. She's very neat. So I'm sure all your clothes will be okay. Do you want me to keep them here till you come back or send... She even promised she'd help me find another job. You really can't trust anyone, can you? You know, there's a, a dance down here Friday night, you know? Want to go? Mm -hmm. Why not? I take good care Herb, of you. You can't go to a dance when your mother's just died. Come on. Best time of all, if you ask me. She never let you go while she was alive, did she? Of course not. She had her principles. <laughs> yeah. She did. Now, well, what do you mean? What do you mean? Well, I wonder where her principles were when old Garnet found her and brought her home. Who? Garnet. Old Cedric. He found her, brought her home as a maid, at least. That's what they said. Now, her. Well, that's true. Well, Cedric and your mother. Everybody knew about it. Then when he got killed in that accident up at the mill, she, she married your father. Yeah. And not just six months later, along come your sister now. By Zem's principles, eh? Now, you're going to take that back, or I'm going home. Oh, no, don't go. I can't go home. Please, stay. You say anything, okay? You know, now that... Your mother's gone. You can have some fun. You can go to the dance. Yeah? <laughs> Please? If you think that I'd go to a dance with you. Now, wait a minute. What else do you know about mommy? Nothing. Yes, you do. Honestly, I don't know, I don't know anything. I, I don't You do? I don't then I bet really. Uncle Matthew's involved too, huh? Trust them to gossip about everything. Well, you figure it out for yourself. Your father went away to the war for five years. And Uncle Matthew stayed home because he was unfit. With your mother? Well, she's only human. Like the rest of us. Hey? Just like the rest of us. Hmm? 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 Hey. Where are you going, 
is about. Going home? No, let's sit and talk a while. No, I've got to go home. Why? The lights are out. Your Uncle Matthew's sleeping. What? Oh, I'm tired. Oh, let's just stay and have some fun. No, come on, have Come some on, we fun. had some drinks. Let's go have some fun. No, let me oh, go. Oh, come on, Isabel. No, let go of her. Another time, okay? No, now. Everything all right, Isabel? It's... Nothing is all right, Uncle. Nothing at all. It... Nothing is all right. You sure you don't need me? Oh, no, we've been up counting twice before for these high tests. Don't worry. Oh, good. That's very nice of you if you can manage. Oh, there's uh, nothing, nothing to do. I just sit around the hospital all day while they mess around with their instruments. You'll be just fine. We'll have them back by tomorrow afternoon. OK. Have a good trip. Bye. Bye.
Is, it? is that you, Jason? It's me, Viola. Oh, Viola, it's you. Hi. I thought I'd see you down at the post office with all them geese. Cackle, cackle. Boys, don't they gossip? Well, I didn't go. Well, that's a change. Look, I was thinking with your Uncle Matt and uh -huh. Ed up in Camelton, it might be fun if you come down for a bite. Okay? I'd love to, Viola. Just a minute. <laughs> all right, Barry, eat up. How'd you make out in your exam today, Wendy? How are you and Jason making out? It's been a long time since the likes of him's been seen around, Shalor. Well, yeah. I don't know. I haven't seen him today. He's all right, I suppose. Oh, well, look, maybe he went out fishing. I heard he got Howard's boat. It'll be no fishing tonight because the big storm and heavy gale of wind. Sit down. Well, the radio just said wind, no rain, gale force wind. Tonight. Perfectly good beds upstairs. Stop crying, Isabel. Your mother didn't mean what she said. Uncle Matthew has saved a dessert for you. Nice, fresh strawberry. So, Isabel, I suppose you came down with your Uncle Matthew. You came down to get some molasses. <laughs> this must be your first day at school. Come over, Isabel, and show Mr. Secord your nice uniform. Oh, 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 isn't that something? <laughs> well, what a nice girl and what a promising looking Me fait plaisir d'accorder notre prix spécial à Isabel Garnet comme l'élève la plus pieuse de notre couvent. Now, don't spill that molasses on that nice uniform. Back to the holler to feed them a pig home again. I wonder what your father would say of you running off to the big city. You're only 18, and uh, there's lots of time for to try your wings later on. Why don't you just stay with your mother for uh, another year? She don't, uh, she don't look too good to me. Don't be silly, Isabel. Nine years old and afraid of the dark. Come on, take my hand, I'll take you upstairs and get your teddy bear. 
There's nothing to be afraid of in the dark. He was a great fisherman. I think he was the best fisherman on the Gaspé coast. I'm going to tell you one thing that your father, when he used to land a catch, it was something to talk about. And your brother, I think, would have followed in your father's footsteps. I think it's a lot of rubbish, you guess me. When did he see it? Just before dawn. He's coming back from seeing to the boat because of the wind and everything. Who saw what? My dad saw the phantom light last night. Mom said it was only Mr. Garnet walking around. Uh, insomnia is, I guess, what she called it. Thank you, Mrs. Oates. But Uncle Matthew was away. Wasn't there anybody in the house? No. I was here all night, and the house was empty. Oh, boy, wait till I tell Dad. That's one story. You'll be all over Chalers by lunchtime. Well, they say it's always seen just before dawn. Well, they're always seen something. If it's not phantom this, it's phantom that. It's a pile of rubbish, if you ask me. Well, don't you believe the dead and come back? I do not. Well, he obviously saw something. Oh, no, it's just the reflection of the moon in the windows. Mark my words. There'll be no sign of anyone breaking in. Is it? It's me, Jason. Oh, you're here. Well, yes. I was just coming back from fishing. I saw your door wide open. Uh, well, Robin stopped me on his bike. He said you were spending the night at the Oats. Yes, I was. Hmm? Did you go out fishing last night in all that wind? Oh, it calmed down considerable toward morning. Did you pass near here on your way out? Why? Because Robin's father saw the phantom light. You don't believe all that. The clock stopped. It needs winding. I haven't thought of that. Nobody ever thinks of the obvious. <laughs> yeah, I got a great idea. How'd you like to go trout fishing? No, 
I don't know, really. I... Fresh young trout fried in butter. I have housework to do. I don't know. Well, your uncle's off in Campbellton. You've got the whole day. If you'd like to go, and uh, if you have some fishing rods around. All right. I'll go and see in the attic. I'll be back. Jason? Jason, I know you're there. Jason, don't be funny. You all right, Isabel? I, I was out digging worms. I heard you calling. What's the matter? No. Listen, we're going trout fishing. Why don't you go off and make some sandwiches, and I'll, I'll clean up this mess for you. And I wound your clock. Everything's fine. Ah, the water's too high. Won't be any fish in there. Where do we go? I know, a good spot up the brook there. All right. There's a dance tonight. Is it Friday today? Sure is. You ever been? Nope. Mommy wouldn't let me. I went once. Didn't much like it, though. Why? No reason. No girl would dance with me. Black well, dance with you. Hey, 
you see that trail up there? Uh-huh. I used to watch you and your uncle go back to the cattle up there. You had a dog with you, I think. When was that? Oh, a long time ago. Oh, but tell me. I used to fish this stream out. It ran past our place back in the third. What's your place like, Jason? Oh, it's not there anymore. It got tore down when my pa died. Anyway, I'd come down here and I'd fish for my dinner. And I'd wait for you to come by. Up there. I saw you once in New Carlisle, too. In New Carlisle? Uh-huh. What were you doing there? I fell on an axe and cut my knee, so they dragged me in to get sewed up. I was sitting in the doctor's waiting room, and I saw you go by outside with a couple of your girlfriends. You dressed in them funny outfits you used to wear. <laughs> yes. The convent uniforms. I got all about my leg. Funny, you know, Jason. I always thought that, um... What? That you were related to us somehow. Me? <laughs> That'll be the day. <laughs> Me, a gardener. Well, I know one more place, and if they're not biting there, they're not biting today. Okay. I'll take a shortcut over the hill. <laughs> ah! Oh, Jason, are you all right? <laughs> ah. Oh, come on. You're all wet. You think it's funny, don't you? Yes, thank you. You know, yesterday I I saw a chicken with with its head chewed off. Must have been a fox. Terrible vicious in the spring. No, because the fox would have taken it away. Not if you scared it off. Is the chicken fresh killed? Mm. There you are. In the spring, I'll plant mangles for the pigs across there. Remember the last time we were here? That's when I found out you were leaving again. You know, all things counted. I was about the worst time of my life. Come on, 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 come on,
right hand across. Like by the left and don't get lost. Take your left hand, lady, by your left hand around. None of your right hand around. Isabel, how about the next dance? I can't. I'm too tired. Oh, come on. It's a slow one. No, really, I can't. Another time. Right. I promise. Take a swig with no, the no, boys. Really, thanks. No. Isabel. Uh, boys, it's Isabel. Uh, Coming some fish no, uh, have you seen Jason? Jason? Yeah. Now, boys, I tell you, I saw Jason go to our barn a little while ago. He was oh, with those yeah. those three guys? Oh, yeah. With, he was with three uh, big fellas. Oh, three wicked Yep. Oh. Well, do you remember those three guys that were here? Oh, his barn. Looked, uh, looked, looked, uh, looked, looked pretty like, mean situation. It looked like there might be trouble. Mm. Yeah. Hey, Jason! Don't worry! Shh. He's up here. Come on, Where is come on, boys. He's up here. <gasps> come on, boys. I'm going up here alone yeah. now. Come on. Shh. Don't let him... Hey, maybe he's upstairs. Shh. Shh. We're going to go upstairs. Oh. Come, on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't see him. Shh. Don't let him. Let's go upstairs. Come on, is he? Come on. Hey, Jason! Shh. Jason, baby.
You broke my vow. What? Isabel, get out. Let's get out of here. Well, I'll be going out fishing soon. I guess you better go upstairs and get some sleep.
I loved her. I loved her. Isabel, I love her. I love her. Isabel. Now listen. Leave me alone. 